Good morning, guys. Today is going to be an eventful day. I already have it planned out. I planned it out last night. So today we are going to get ready to go ask people to be my Valentine's until people say yes. Well, until someone says yes. And I'll have a Valentine, you know? Because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. And it'd be pretty lonely if I didn't have anybody. So I'm going to be getting ready for that. Trying to look hot. Trying to look good for my new upcoming Valentine's. So yeah, let me make my bed real quick. And we're going to open the blinds. And we're going to be getting... We're going to open this up so we can get some fresh air. Take that fresh air in. I'm actually kind of scared. But it's okay. There's, you're, there's like things... There's, there's no fear. We're having no fear today. We're going to be bold. We're going to be, it's going to be exciting. Okay. We're going to be a new person. So yeah. So I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to get ready and all that stuff. And we're going to look nice, cute. We have to, we're going to wear, we're going to wear red because red, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys heard of the red theory, but when you wear red or you paint your nails red or you do something red, like you're wearing red, it draws attention to guys. So I'm going to be wearing a lot of red and a lot of hearts today. So, I'm super excited. So, yeah. That's basically what I'm doing today. I'm really scared, but you gotta go out of your comfort zone at some point. And today is that some point. The older I get, the older I have to get out of my comfort zone. So, we're gonna be getting out of my comfort zone today. Okay. While I do my skincare, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story as well. But let me brush my teeth, obviously, and do all the ritual that I usually do. So, my friend Sarah has been dating her boyfriend for a few months, and they were really excited for their first Valentine's Day, and it kind of inspired me. Like, I haven't had a Valentine's Day, well, a Valentine in so long. Like, I don't even remember the last time I had one, or if I even got one. So, I wanted to, like, get that same experience. Like, they have something special, and I want something special, too. And so, I'm, that's why I'm going out of my comfort zone to ask for my own Valentine, because no one's going to come and ask me. You have to do it sometimes. You have to be the bold one, and... Yeah, not everybody's just going to come. They, they don't read your mind. They don't know that you want to be the Valentine. They don't know that you want to go to dinner. They don't want to know you want to go to a movie date. You have to do that, okay? So it's basically what my thing I'm going to be doing today. All right, now we're going to be getting ready. Oh, let me just finish the story, okay, about their love story while I'm getting ready. kind of forgot about that. Let me just change my outfit. This is the outfit for today, red shirt, red Heels, mini skirt, red earrings, red Kendra Scott necklace. Um, I'm going to do my makeup while I'm telling you guys, and then I have my purse. All right? So, yeah. They didn't have a typical dinner or movie date, because this is, like, recently, obviously, because Valentine's Day. They wanted to do special, but they didn't go to, like, a typical dinner or movie date. Instead, they decided to go to, like, a picnic in a nearby park. They, let me get my, let me get my makeup stuff out real quick while I do this. My beauty blender, only a sponge. All right, okay. Just gonna do my normal makeup. If you guys didn't check it out, go check it out because I, have, you know, you guys already know. But they packed this homemade lunch. They included heart shaped sandwiches, chocolate covered strawberries, and sparkling grape juice. They also brought a cozy blanket to sit on, enjoy the beautiful weather, which was super nice. And it was, it was lovely. It was very lovely. She's Sarah was telling me everything. They had heart shaped foods chocolate covered strawberries like i wish okay and so they sat there the pair they were like they were laughing and chatting and they noticed a group of kids playing with a heart-shaped balloon nearby so then sarah and her boyfriend thought it was it would be fun to join in and they bought a couple of balloons and they started playing catch with them so they started playing catch with random like strangers well random kids on in the park and i thought it was pretty cute they ended up having such a good time. Like, she would non-stop talking about it. She was giggling about it. Like, she was so happy when she was telling me. And I felt so, like, I felt so happy for her. And I was like, wow, I really want to experience that. And I want some, like, a moment like that that I could cherish for, like, my whole lifetime. And then I could tell my grandkids and all that stuff. And my kids, like, I wish. So, I, that's why, like, I'm ready to go out of my comfort zone. Usually, I'm not, like, into that stuff. Like, I'm not into going out of my comfort zone. So, we are going to be going out of my comfort zone, which I am so super excited about so yeah all right and they were talking about like they were talking about a lot of things they were talking about like um their life together if they got married and they brought up some favorite memories of theirs and they were just like thinking about their relationship like the past 
couple months of their relationship. They're, they're almost a year into the relationship, so which is really good. So they were just talking about it, bringing up good moments, and it was it was amazing. It was amazing. All right, let me let me let me let me let me. We have to go to the store and get flowers for the guy I'm gonna act because not it's rude. It's rude not to get some flowers. So I'm gonna get some flowers because if a guy can do it, a girl can do it as well. So. All right, let me finish the story while I'm getting while I'm getting to my car. So the end of the Valentine's Day picnic with like a little sweet kiss, you know. You can't end the Valentine's Day date with a, a little kiss on the cheek or a little kiss, you know. So obviously they kissed, and they made a promise to try to make every single day feel like Valentine's Day. Try to do what they did on a daily, like what they did today on for Valentine's Day on a daily. And I thought that was super cute. That was so, like, sweet and beautiful. So, that is kind of, like, my inspiration to go out of my comfort zone. Because I want to experience that with someone. And, yeah, why not? All right, we're going to head over and to the store and get some flowers. And then ask someone um, for it to be my mom's time. I just can't think about that story. That story is so wholesome and so sweet. Hopefully, something, something like that will happen to you one day. And hopefully, you guys like that story as well. Sometimes romance is not for everybody, but for the romance lovers, I hopefully you enjoyed that little story. I was literally cheesing. I was so happy for her when she was telling me, and yeah, who who wouldn't be happy for their best friend when they just have like the perfect romance life? Honestly, like I was about to start crying and eat ice cream on my bed. That's how sad I was. Okay, do they? Oh my god. Okay, let's see if they even have flowers here. I'm pretty sure they do. They better have flowers. Over here. Let's see. All right, I think we got them. Oh, they're white. Okay, we'll, we'll get whites. Why not? All right, I'm going to self-check out. All right, I'm going to grab the bag. And we're going to head back. And we're going to go to spawn. And we're going to try to find a round time. I'm actually really scared, but I've got this. Um, I might be a little embarrassing if someone says no. But it's okay. It's okay. We only live once. We only live once. That's my quote. Every single day. That's why I live by. We only live once. Got your comfort zone. And also, anybody could be a Valentine. You could be, your friend could be your Valentine, your mom, dad, your family, friends. Anybody could be a Valentine. Valentine's is not just for lovers. It could be for a friend, a family member, or even a pet. It's for someone you love and you, if you're celebrating love and that friendship, or you're just celebrating one of those. But I feel like you're celebrating friendship, love. You're celebrating, the, yeah, the amount of love you have for that one person, whoever it is, all right? Um, should I ask this kid? Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Wait, let me just see if they're a guy real quick. I don't want to. Oh, they, they don't seem to. Oh, wait, let me ask. Let me ask this guy right here. Hello. Hello. Can you answer me, baby? <laughs> Is that for you? <laughs> I don't think he likes this, guys. I'm going to say ABC to be my Valentine's. Oh, no, it didn't work. ABC to be my Valentine's. I don't know if anybody will say ABC, but it's, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot, okay? Like I said, you have to go out of your comfort zone. Oh! Um, okay, this is not going as planned, guys. You know, I might just, oh, no. The guy wouldn't answer me. I want to, <laughs> I want to talk to Foxy. <laughs> Hello? There's not many guys in the server. Usually there's, like, so many. I'm actually kind of shocked. It's mainly girls now, but I don't know. Hello? Hi, wanna be my val valen valen? What can I spell? It? Oh my God, Valentine's. Hey, he's running. Stop. He's my Valentine's. Oh, oh. Oopsies. You can. Have my flowers, girl. 
Okay, I'm just gonna give him to this sweet look. I'm just gonna give it to the girl. That was kind of awkward. This did not go as a. I was just kidding. Oh, so don't play like that. Don't play like that. This could have been my love of my life. You can't play like that. Okay. But, you know, sometimes it's not good to go out of your comfort zone. This could happen to you, okay? This don't. This could be happening to you. This girl could have been like, yeah, that's my Valentine's backup. But it's okay. It's okay. But we, we, we went out of a conversation that's kind of the... Oh, look, okay. That's kind of the... Um, what's it called? Kind of what I was going for in this video, to go out of your comfort zone. And, yeah, it's okay, though. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn your post notifications. Like I said, it could either end up, like, best or could be really embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing. But that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn your post notifications. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a girl or a guy? No, okay, never mind. It's a girl. Anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Oh, what? Oh, okay. 